Right, so we've just done some tests on this 330E uh, G31. Annoyingly, it's the same story as um, as with the F chassis that we kind of did a lot of development on initially with the Strat 2. The problem we've got with these cars is the way they manage their torque with the electric motor and the combustion engine. They make very little boost pressure in the higher RPM. You know, we're talking 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a bar. So actually extracting more performance from the combustion engine at that point is quite difficult um, without, you know, actually manipulating the ECU and changing torque. Um, requests. Um, the first run we did was actually quite encouraging. Uh, it made like 337, so not amazing considering it made. It actually made 310 horsepower standard, so a little bit above book numbers. What it's doing is it's um, it's realising that there's a difference in its torque output um, and mass airflow, and basically correcting the boost target in real time and basically bringing it down and down and down. And if I carried on doing runs it would basically just go back to making standard power. Yeah, annoyingly a tuning box just does not work on these hybrids. Um, you know, we're not happy with that because basically you know, it might feel quick first thing in the morning and then by the time you've, you've done three or four pulls, it's basically making standard power again. So um, it's not possible unless you actually get in the ECU and actually change the torque request and how the electric motor is delivering the torque um, and the, the actual boost pressure targets of the, of the internal combustion engine good to get a new a newer g series car in and just make sure that it is still the case with the old cars but yeah unfortunately we will not be doing anything on the 330 e's um people will have to pay for an ecu unlock unfortunately on these